Hi there, and thank you for joining us for another ASG Pro JCL demo. ASG Pro JCL is our premier JCL management solution. Today I'm going to show you how to scan multiple JCL in an order of your choosing. Our demo today is in ZOS Explorer, which is the foundation on which IBM IDZ is laid. Our plugin is compatible with IBM IDZ, BMC CompuWare Topaz Workbench, and with a vanilla Eclipse plugin. Now to scan multiple JCL, you need to use the ASG's ZOS Navigator. This is our connection to the ZOS system and it enables you to browse into the right members and choose what you want to scan with. The buttons at the top of this tab enable you to do different functions. So first, to do a dynamic scan of selected members, just pick them from the list using the control function. All right, I've made a selection, so now let's use the first button to validate that dynamic list. So even though you made a dynamic selection, we still want to make sure we're scanning the ones that you want and putting them in the order that you wish. So in my case, I want all the files, and I want to do this one at the top because I know that one JCL file leads into another, and ProJCL has the ability to remember across files any variables that have been set and things like that. So I can order these however I need, and maybe I need to move this one up just one more file. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to validate all of those JCL in that defined sequence. This sends a RESTful API call to the mainframe and executes the scans. I am finding that we have errors in both that Caltrack file and ANLZ50. So the cool thing about this is I can double click and open that file and start to work on it. And then I can use all the pre-existing features in ProJCL to go fix all of the errors in this file. I'll go fix each problem and then I can save it back to ZOS and scan again. Uh, I can work on both of these files at the same time if I want to till I get them right and then rescan that list. Now, because it was a dynamic scan, I'll have to select the same members again and rescan. If this is a common set of JCL that I scan in order this way all the time, then I need to save this list to ProJCL so I can reuse it at a future time. So let's do that now. I'm going to close these files out. And let's pick from an existing list. So this is the selection list library. And I do need to log in. And this is the list of predefined libraries that exist on this system. I'm going to run ASG demo for you. And we can look at what's in that list by clicking edit. We're going to scan these four members right here. You can see here I could also edit that list if I want to. In this case, I do not want to. I'm just going to scan what's in there. So we will validate that list. And I got quite a few more errors that time, but I can see again it included Caltrack A1 and ANLZ50, so I had that in my dynamic list as well. So what about if I want to create a new list? I had that dynamic list that I created to start with. Maybe I want to keep that as an ongoing list. So I still have those same members selected. What I do is click Create Selection List here, and I'm going to save them over into the sequence. We had this one at the top, and we had this one up one level, right? Now I need a selection list name. I can put in a description. In this case, I'm going to skip that step and save. So now I can reuse that list anytime I want. If I click the selection list directory again, we will see that demo2 has been created and I can validate that list again. We should get the exact same errors that we got before when we did the uh, dynamic validation. So there we go. That is how you scan multiple members and be able to rescan over and over using the same list when you're working with that set of members. Thanks for joining us today.